Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, if the coordinates of the points A, B, C, D, B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, minus 4, 3, minus 6 and 2, 9, 2 respectively, then find the angle between the lines A, B and C, D. Now we know that Direction cosines of a line are the cosines of the angles made by the line with the positive directions of the coordinate axis and direction cosines of a line joining two points P with coordinates X1, Y1, Z1 and Q with coordinates x2, y2, z2 are given by x2 minus x1 over pq, y2 minus y1 over pq, z2 minus z1 over pq where pq is equal to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square. Again, we know that the angle theta between two lines with direction cosines L1, M1, N1 and L2, M2, N2 is given by cos theta is equal to mod of L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2. Now these two formulas we will use in this question. So this is the key idea behind our question. So let's start the solution. Now we are given the coordinates of the points A and B are 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 7 respectively. So we are given A is a point with coordinates 1, 2, 3 and B is the point with coordinates 4, 5, 7. So according to our key idea, AB is equal to under root of 4 minus 1 whole square plus 5 minus 2 whole square plus 7 minus 3 whole square. And this is equal to under root of 3 square which is 9 plus 3 square which is again 9 plus 4 square which is 16. And this is equal to under root of 34. Hence the direction cosines. of the line joining A and B are four minus one over under root of thirty four five minus two over under root of thirty four seven minus three over under root of thirty four and this is equal to 3 over root 34, 3 over root 34, 4 over root 34. Again, again we are given C is the point with coordinates minus 4, 3, minus 6 and D is the point with coordinates 2, 9, 
टू देर फोर सी डी इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ टू प्लस फोर होल स्क्वेयर प्लस नाइन माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वेयर प्लस टू प्लस सिक्स होल स्क्वेयर विच इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ सिक्स स्क्वेयर विच इज थर्टी सिक्स प्लस सिक्स स्क्वेयर विच इज अगेन थर्टी सिक्स प्लस एट स्क्वेयर विच इज सिक्सटी फोर एंड दिस इज अगेन इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ वन थर्टी सिक्स एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू टू रूट थर्टी फोर Hence, the direction cosines of the line joining C and D are two plus four. over 2 root 34 9 minus 3 over 2 root 34 2 plus 6 over 2 root 34 or 6 over 2 root 34 that is 3 over root 34 Six over two root thirty four. That is three over root thirty four. Eight over two root thirty four. That is four over root thirty four. Let theta is the acute angle. Between the lines. A B and C D. Therefore, according to our key idea, cos theta is equal to mod of three over root thirty four into three over root thirty four, which is nine over thirty four plus three over root thirty four into three over root thirty four, which is again nine over thirty four. Plus four over root thirty four into four over root thirty four, which is sixteen over thirty four, and this is equal to mod of thirty four over thirty four, and this is again equal to one. So. Cos theta is equal to one implies theta is equal to zero degree because cos zero is equal to one. Hence, the answer for the above question is zero degree. This means two lines AB and CD are parallel to each other. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.